Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and will always be loved and appreciated, okay? Um, and welcome to the new subscribers, okay? I'm so happy to see y'all. Welcome to the family, okay? Um, and hello to all of my beautiful subscribers who are already, already uh, part of the the crew, the, the fam, okay? <laughs> God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of the highest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please give my beautiful and amazing Pisces and Seer family the best and most accurate information for the matter of time, okay? So this is going to be a God source, most high goddess message, okay? <laughs> because I know... <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I know my collective has um, like different views and, and, and beliefs and things. OK, so um, but, you know, I call God God or source. OK, so I'm probably going to refer to him as that <laughs> um, in this. OK, so the first thing on my notes says warning, a storm could soon come to your area. OK. So he said, just read that <laughs> and then did overall energy. Okay. Like he's very, very specific. Okay. Right now uh, I'm, I'm supposed to move. Okay. We got baby love. Um, this is a crystal skull. Okay. Let me see. So baby love. Okay. Baby love is a stone. It's made of rose quartz. Okay. And it works with the fourth chakra or the heart chakra. Okay. Which is like the highlight of today's, uh, <laughs> messages. Okay. I mean, well, not Archangel Uriel's. He talked about, um, he talked about a crown. I mean, a soul star chakra upgrade, but anyways, um, it says that rose quartz is a stone of peace and unconditional love purifies and opens the heart, releases negative emotions, increases discernment and self-love, strengthens empathy and the ability to love. So these are the things that um, God or source is working with you in your life on at this time. OK, it says place me on your heart and let my message reach you. OK, so um, maybe you need to meditate on God, OK, like on your connection with him and, uh, you know, talk to him, sit down, ask him questions. You know, <laughs> he's saying, like, just have a conversation with me, you know, um, especially now, you know, when he's saying this storm is coming in, but it was talking about like releasing certain emotions and things like that. So this could be the reason why, why, you know, and the song says shock me like an electric eel. Okay. Let me see. Oh, girl, turn you on an electric feel. Okay. So um, like energetic upgrades is that that's what's giving me electric eel. So it says an eel may symbolize a person in your life with strong masculine energies. This person can help you even if you feel a little uneasy around them. Okay. So this could be like the storm, you know, you could, God could be sending someone in. Okay. To someone that's going to bring energies of good luck, fertility, and longevity to something that you do, you know, but this could be someone you feel a little bit uneasy around or someone, you know, that he may have instructed you to separate yourself from before, but he's bringing them back in, back around so that you can utilize the unique gifts that he placed within them. Okay. This person is a star seed. Okay. This person is a star seed and they are doing their job. <laughs> whether they're aware of it or not. Okay. So you need to be open to the things that, um, source is bringing into your life to transformation with the number eight. Okay. <laughs> so be open to the infinite energies that source provides. Okay. Let me shuffle this. Dreaming of a past that couldn't last, but now we're changing and reframing. Okay. So I feel like somebody has really changed, you know, and, um, like, change the ways like ref they're refraining from doing certain things now and this is why they're allowed to come back in your energy okay it says yes we are visible and somewhat no yes we are near and somewhat visible okay angels so you know he got you totally surrounded by angels at this time okay look because you are manifesting great wealth okay <laughs> and so you know you really need to um get connected in with source and and 
make sure you know which way he wants you to go at this time, okay? So, um, I'm going to tell you this because the next thing on the list comes with like a whole story, okay? <laughs> so, what's the rest of the overall energy, okay? We got healing and we got she of the lotus, okay? So, I feel like God is really opening up your your energy complex to all of these beautiful healing energies. You know, it has already begun, but you're about to bloom, okay? Like the lotus flower, okay? Really about to be open to all of this gorgeous star energy that's out here. You know, I heard making a timeline jump, okay? To where you need to be, okay? And so since you're going to make this timeline jump, okay, you have to listen to the sound of the universe, which is God. Okay. <laughs> you have to listen to him. Okay. And allow him to guide you in the ways to bring the realm down to you, to this earthly realm. Okay. You pull divine energies down to you. You ground manifestations. Okay. You don't float up to them, you know, because you could lose control. You ground that energy. This is what your gifts are for. Yeah. You need to um, accept, like, be open to this transformation that Source is trying to come in and work with you on making because it's going to bring this, like, working with this person you might not necessarily want to work with is going to bring a new level of healing and a higher way of thinking about people and their functions and their roles that they play in your life and, you know, how long they're supposed to be there and things like that. So it's 30, okay? You could be a life path number three, okay? Or be 30, okay? You could be 43 or 34, okay? Um, you could be a life path number four or three, okay? Uh, 43 is right there, okay? So um, healing says energy rebalance, okay? Energetic awareness, healing yourself and others, exploring healing modalities, Reiki, the, the chakra system, your unique and innate ability to heal, color vibration, soul sovereignty, auras, and the meridian system aligning to the highest good and optimal health, Okay. So it says, extend the margins of your awareness, revisit the situation in question from a broader perspective or a higher vibration with a focus on healing. OK, it says this will help you decipher what is real, possible ways forward and whether an issue is really a problem at all. This card can also signify the universal push that inspires you to explore your healing abilities, however that looks to you. OK, and I'm here and look me in my face. I ain't got no worries. OK because God got you. Okay. I seen 744 when I said that you are totally and completely covered. Okay. Dead in your eyes, hypnotized with all the lies. Um, I'm the only person in the club getting bucked, riding around clean with the beam, how it seems. Okay. So I feel like people are getting like moved out of the way. Okay. It says, when we discard any part of ourselves, we are throwing the baby out with the bath water, okay? It says often our greatest strengths are our greatest weaknesses and vice versa. When we reject or deny parts of ourselves, we end up feeling hollow, lost, and detached, okay? And this um, applies to the, to the energy of oneness, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes God sends people in and because you rejected them, because you're not really forgiving or you're not really being open to letting spirit be in control, you're not surrendering. You're just um, dealing with someone based on how things went in the past when you know good and well that God works this way, you know? So um, he's saying do a little bit more shadow work, okay? It says addressing dissonance, seeing downfalls as the flip side of superpowers, loving yourself back to wholeness, the beautiful lotus that grows from murky waters, disempowering triggers and bringing a light into your dark corners, okay? He says something about being 10 steps ahead on the song, you know? This is how you get 10 steps ahead, you know, by seeing that, okay, because they were telling me about magic, the, the difference between light magic and dark magic, okay? People that do white magic, okay, they pay the price first is what they explained to me. You, you pay the price first, okay? And people who do dark magic, they get that terrible karma later, okay? <laughs> so... Um, you have to look at your downfalls at the things that you go through before these big, magical, amazing things that you manifested happen as the flip side of that, of you paying the price first, you pay first, you show first, you pay in faith and you pay in grace and you pay in love and you pay in prayers and then you get what you want. 
So it says, take a look at any unconscious patterns that may be running you. Are there elements of yourself you need to take out of the trash? Take out, yeah. Are there elements of yourself you need to take out of the trash, dust off and reabsorb? Shadows can be painful or tender to touch. Sensitivity in an area can be a trigger that shows us where we might want to spring clean some of our darker forgotten, ignored or hidden corners. Accepting our shadow is the first stage in restoring ourselves to wholeness in self-love, okay? It says peel back the layers where there is shame, guilt or fear and bring them into the daylight. Under a loving and compassionate light, they will resolve and reassimilate so you can re-engage with your superpowers, you know. And then on the next page, it says Sign your, shine your light with 44, you know. Shine that beautiful angelic light that you hold within you. It says doing what you love, time to thrive, giving from the overflow, life purpose, being authentically you, compassionate, self-empowerment, loving life, trying things you resonate with, bringing joy to others by being an inspiration, okay? And then I seen 1115, okay? It says you are amazing. There is no one like you and no one who can do you as you can, okay? Okay. <laughs> So um, it says, okay, so I was watching uh, Perseus and the Olympians, okay, and um, the little boy is named after Perseus, you know, because he's like, he's a demigod, okay, <laughs> um, and so he, uh, the mother is takes him to the museum and, you know, she was teaching him the Greek mythologies the entire time and teaching him little lessons. And he knew a lot more about the world he came from than he thought. Okay. And this could be uh, significant to you as well. You could be finding yourself reading about these old stories and things like that, because God is trying to teach you different parts of who you are and making you realize that it is not located in one, one specific place. You have to open your mind. You have to bloom and heal in order to keep drawing in these beautiful memories and and energies that belong to you, okay? So she was telling her son the story, you know, of how um, an evil king got really mad, oh, at, at uh, Perseus or something, I don't know. I think maybe Perseus' mom was the side thing or something. I don't know. And um, anyways, he ends up locking her in a crate with her baby, okay, which was Perseus. And um, she was saying that the mother would tell Perseus Hold fast, Perseus. Brave the storm that was meant to break us, for we are unbreakable as long as we have each other, okay? It said, and she said, uh, not everyone who looks like a hero is a hero, and not everyone who looks like a monster is a monster, okay? <laughs> and so this is what Source wants you to know. Yeah, sometimes those people look like monsters to you, and you don't want them to come back in, and you don't want to have to work with them, but guess what? I sent them, <laughs> okay? Yeah, they look like a monster, but they they really a hero. They really come to bring an, an energy. They owe you an energy. And I sent them in to give it to you. But if you cannot get past your ego and you cannot drop your problem or your issue that you have with others, then you will miss these blessings that God is sending into your life. Okay. What else? It says, I mean, it's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules, okay? <laughs> so it's like, it says, most noble of you, Harry, to shield me. But as it's been pointed out, the parchment clearly says Dumbledore's army, not Potter's. I instructed Harry to form this organization and I alone am responsible for his activities. Ooh. So pretty much <laughs> he's saying, you know, source is saying, I have like i he's saying like i feel it but i can't i can't say it okay he's saying like i sometimes encourage certain star seeds to break certain rules just to trigger you and teach you something and it's like it's nice it's so wonderful you know that you feel like you have to that you know you're strong enough to shield yourself and to protect yourself but this ain't your army this is god's army <laughs> Period. He is in charge. So if you feel the nudge that you need to just go ahead and do that, you know, then go ahead and do that. Don't allow old things and energies to get in the way. OK, we got values and beliefs. OK, it says at the end of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two, Harry snaps the Elder Wand, the most powerful wand in the world, in two. 
because he don't need the wand, okay? You are magic. You are a magical being, okay? And you are that because the source light energy that flows through you, period, <laughs> okay? And that's it. But I was just telling someone yesterday, you know, your entire existence is magic. Every time you breathe in and out, that is magic. Every time you wake up, that's magical, okay? <laughs> and you need to look at your existence in this way and know that it is because God blessed you with the magic that you walk in every day, okay? It says on their first night at Hogwarts, first year students are sorted into one of four houses, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Each house embodies different qualities. Gryffindors are renowned for their courage and determination, Ravenclaws for their wit and wisdom, Hufflepuffs for their patience and loyalty, and Slytherins for their pride and ambition, okay? So it's like, if you could attend Hogwarts, which house do you think you would belong to and why? It's like, there is like a deeper, everybody has their own job is what he's pretty much saying. Okay. Everybody has their own job. Everybody has their thing that they're supposed to be doing. All you have to do is do what, what your intuition tells you to do and not sit there and argue with your intuition with your ego your ego and your intuition just getting into it all the time because you're afraid that you might experience loss or lose track of your identity all over again by creating these relationships with people whose identity you think you know you think you got them figured out but if you change what makes you think other people are not capable of it this is a level of personal growth that you're um, having this big resistance in making, okay? What else, source? Woo. So it says, Hed Hedwig is Harry's beloved pet snowy owl given to him by Hagrid on his 11th birthday, okay? So God gave you this wisdom <laughs> in the form of your intuition on your birthday, OK, it says Hedwig is Harry's constant companion through the first six films in the series, providing help, comfort and friendship through some of Harry's darkest times. OK. God been here all the time, this whole time. And you trusted him in your darkest times. So you need to trust him to bring in these beautiful, wonderful, amazing, blessed, light, open minded, open hearted times. Trust him. What else? Ooh. It says in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry loses his godfather Sirius when Beatrix Lestrange kills him during a duel in the Department of Mysteries. Devastated with grief and rage, Harry chases after Beatrix Lestrange and uses the Cruciatus curse, an unforgivable curse, to bring her down. It doesn't work because Harry doesn't really mean it. He is just reacting to his pain, okay? So, you know, it's like the, the things that people do to you or the things that people try to come up against you with, that shit don't work because they don't know who they are. So they don't mean it, okay? <laughs> they don't mean it. They don't even know why they're doing it. They think they know why. They've uh, created some sort of reason in their head or in their heart why they don't like you or they want to lash out after you and cause suffering or, or come at you with a terrible blow. But they, it has no effect because they're not holding the beautiful power of love, light, and grace within them at that time, okay? So you don't need to worry about that when it comes to who God's moving in and out of your life. Sometimes that negative energy propels you further into the light than any light situation could have done for you. But we hold on, hold on. She said, he said, cause you're the best mistake I've ever made. Okay. Sometimes, um, it is the mistakes that lead to you fulfilling any, any flight of fancy you might want to go after. Okay. It says the Twizzard tournament is a magical competition in which three wizarding schools, the Hogwarts, the Drumstring Institute, and the Bow Battens Academy of Magic compete to win the Twizzard Cup. A champion is chosen from each school by the Goblet of Fire, and that champion competes in three extremely difficult, highly dangerous tasks. The winner earns the Twizzard Cup, 
honor for their school, and most importantly, eternal glory, in the words of Professor Dumbledore in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry becomes the accidental fourth champion in the tournament. Unlike many of the other students at the three schools, Harry does not desire eternal glory, but he is forced against his will to compete in the tournament anyway. It's like God had to instigate all of these things in your life. He had to literally force you into living, into playing this game that is life, into enjoying it and into looking at it like something that is amazing. And you trusted him and look at where you are now energetically. So trust him when it comes to the new people that are coming into your life, okay? You are highly advanced, okay, with this polyjuice potion. It says a highly advanced potion that enables the drinker to take on the appearance of someone else. You are a highly advanced mirror for people, but you're meant to mirror the divine energy to, to relieve their stress. OK, look at this to help them calm and relax with a lavender lotion. OK, it's a stress relief, moisturizing lotion softens and smooths skin with moisture that lasts 24 hours. OK, let's look up 24 <laughs> and it says it's 33 fluid ounces. OK, this is energy you are meant to mass to master. OK, I said meant to mass. That's what I just said. Um, what about mass? It says a coherent, typically large body of matter with no definite shape. A large number of people or objects crowded together. So this is like collective energy relating to done by or affecting large numbers of people or things, okay? You operating in this, you know, relieving your own stress and helping to calm and relax others. This brings you into a beautiful, it says the movie has mass appeal, okay? This awakens your mass appeal. It says assemble or cause to assemble into a mass or as one body, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm loving this. Okay. This is cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. So 24 means that the road to success is just in front of you. You and your, and your angels are sending a message of encouragement so you can put one foot in front of the other. This number has a lot of energy around balance, harmony, partnership, stability, protection, passion, and clear headed direction. Okay. So these are the energies that source is trying to bring more of into your life, you know. So it says uh, a sign that Archangel Gabriel is with you. OK, healing. OK, <laughs> healing came out and that's Archangel Gabriel's area. OK, actually, that's Archangel Raphael's area. But Archangel Gabriel is very good at that. I heard well versed. OK, it says offering his guidance and protection. OK, OK, OK. While you heal with Archangel Raphael. Thank you. OK, so it says he wants you to stay strong. OK. It says harmony between your spiritual journey and your everyday life, encouraging practical steps toward your spiritual goals. OK. Please don't shoot up the place because I see some ladies tonight that should be having my baby, baby. OK, it's creations in this that you need to create things that you need to birth into this world. OK, that you need to co-create with God to, ma to make. OK, we got the chancellor of wands or the king of wands. You're meant to master the spiritual realm. OK, meant to master your connection with God, meant to master communicating with angels. we got the Knight of crystals and this energy of mastery is what's coming into your life. But with that lavender energy, you need to um, stay calm and keep your energy clear. Stop looking at yourself like you're out in the colds, because when you work with and for and allow God to work through you, there ain't no such thing as the cold. He said that this is the page of crystals. Yeah, you are not. You are walking potential. You are made for growth. You here to do God's work. OK, however you decide to do it. OK, we got the chancellor of daggers meant to hold up your truth for the world to see and to help others get over these betrayals and hurts that they have been through that you can relate to. So hold fast, OK? Because all these storms that were meant to break us 
will not succeed okay for we are, are unbreakable as long as we have each other as long as you have god you are unbreakable we got the chancellor of cups and the hanged man okay and the two of cups it's like if if you think that it's just you you know what i mean holding this cup like we think that for a lot of our life, you know, that it's just us holding this cup and we're just so lost and we're just so stuck and we don't know what it is. But when you gain this, this emotional maturity that comes with, with the, with the spirit of God, okay. Or of source with this light energy, then you realize you are more, you are two parts, but whole in this in the source light okay and this is what boosts up your things that you want to move passionately toward and boost your intuition at this time and also the moon is giving me there are still a lot of things that are hidden about you that you just have yet to realize but you have to take it slow when you're building your connection with god with source okay some people get fast tracked because they have a bigger mission, but for a lot of people, it is a very slow process, you know, to the point where they lose faith and stop believing in God and believing that the things that he's saying to them clearly through other people is nonsense because they just lost their faith. So it says when you're ready to hear what God has in store for you, he'll, he'll tell you, okay period. <laughs> we got goddess. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality, but also <clears throat> I get this energy of like, you need to embrace that beautiful feminine energy within you, you know, to care for yourself, to allow yourself to heal. He said, Rick, honey, with that, butt like Kapow, want to buy you a drink. He said, tell shorty not now. So I feel like, um, now is a good time for you to focus on yourself. Also, getting back to this inner child energy, be in that inner child energy as much as you can. You know, take some time to bond with animals, bond with the nature spirits. God is everywhere. Yeah, healer. You are a healer. You are meant to be in this energy. This is why you were born with this passion to serve others. But you cannot serve others until you repair the body, mind, and spirit. Okay. But you have the ability to help others as you heal yourself, okay? So, um, but you have to take your pain and transform it into, into a healing energy. You have to learn how to work with the violet flame and how to transmute that energy properly if you want to become, you know, get in this Midas type of energy. It says entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold and delight in sharing life's riches. Yeah. You could be um, very attractive, but you're meant to be a pioneer also, okay? It says spotlights your positive, seductive qualities and a passion for doing and creating what has not been done before, okay? So God's wanting to bring in these beautiful epiphanies to you. And for some of you, these epiphanies are coming in the form of others, in the form of them being in your energy and triggering something that you wouldn't have otherwise come up with if they weren't in your energy, okay? It says addict, seeker, and athlete, okay? It says helps you recognize and confront addictive behaviors. You could be addicted to pushing people away, going into your shells, shutting down, you know? We got the seeker. It says thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. Your soul is a seeker. It's meant to find the information that God has for you. That is the, it's like, I love, you know, <laughs> the rapport that I have with God at this time because he really answers my question and it's really clear. And I feel so like grounded and, and safe and comfortable knowing that I'm going to always get an answer from God. Okay. It says dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. Okay. Okay transcending convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior because God is not predictable. He is unpredictable. So you need to get into an unpredictable kind of state of mind, okay? Expect, expect the miracles and the love and the light to come from anywhere, okay? It says magical powers derived from God himself, okay? We already talked about that. We got the princess with be, you can be your own knight, okay? You can be your own knight. You don't have to, 
yeah, we got the sword will make the change. Okay. Make the change with how you're looking at yourself. Okay. This is 17. Okay. <laughs> so you have the power to awaken these new beginnings, you know, to change the way you look at yourself and your connection with God and your ability to protect yourself, to motivate yourself, to turn everything you touch into gold. Know that that is already within you. You don't have to be, um, he's saying like praying a whole lot, like, oh God, please give me this, give me this, give me this. You have to meet him halfway with the same action. I'm not saying, you know, pray less. I would never say that. But what he's saying is once you pray for it, I heard you. <laughs> okay. It's hurt. It's it, in some cases you prayed for it. You imagined it, your heart, your head agreed on it and you manifested that thing, but you're still holding on to things that need to be released. Still having things that you need to be healed from that you could have already released. Still having limited ways of thinking that are keeping you from being a vibrational match for what you have already manifested. So this is what he means. Like praying harder isn't going to make that thing ain't going to make you a vibrational match. Taking the actions that you're intuitively called to make after he told you what to do. That's what's going to make you a vibrational match. Okay. We got feast with slow down and celebrate yourself. And right now the order is self-love. Be your own first priority, okay? That's what he said. Can I, she, she like, uh, can I, Shorty, with a butt like a pal, want to buy you a drink? Tell Shorty not now. Be your own first priority, okay? And think before you judge the people that are coming into your life and, and embrace the fact that your uh, potential is limitless, okay? It's endless. You can do whatever you want. It says something lovely will grow from this, okay? So something lovely will grow from you accepting God more like, like he's talking about you becoming more aware of how active he actually is in your life. Okay. Yes, we are near and somewhat visible always. Okay. That's the overall energy. Yes, we are near and somewhat visible. Just know you seeing God in everything that you do. It says overthinking can spoil the magic that you naturally have and operate in. OK, it says the sacred flow of yes. OK, with this fish energy, that's that that's been giving me abundance. It's been giving me abundance every time I see a fish lately. And then I see this cat right here, which is like very strong into intuition, very strong imagination. And God's trying to lay out this feast for you, but you still need to make a change to the way that you're thinking about things, the way that you see things. You could be, um, you know, like trapping yourself in a box. Like when I first started doing this, I would unintentionally, like I was unintentionally sticking to Christian rules, if that makes any sense. Like it was so encoded in me, you know what I mean? That that was something really hard that I had to break in order to really get these quick, fast and clear answers from God himself. OK, <laughs> it says ambush fear with your ferocious dreams. And that's exactly what they had me to do with this elephant. You know, they sparked memories within me, who I am, showed me doing things, she gave me dreams to break me out of what I thought was possible and how I thought God worked and how I thought he talked to me. You know, it's different for all of you, the way that God talks to you. It says, make a mission statement for your soul. Choose who you are becoming. Just choose who you want to be and take the steps toward getting there. And God will make sure that when you get out of balance, you get back in balance. He will really keep you on track and also help you to ground the things that you're wanting to see in your reality. Okay. <sighs> we got the ancestral realm at the bottom of the deck. Also listening to your ancestors. Okay. Your ancestors are very wise is what he's saying. I have chosen very specific ancestors to work with each soul. Okay. <laughs> your ancestors are out here giving up the information. Okay. All you have to do is be aware, you know, be excited. Be hyped up knowing that 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 the max amount of truth and information and love and 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 energy boosting is coming from your ancestors at this time. Because they've been they've been uh, <laughs> look at the third eye. Come on. Look, they're giving it up. It says brow chakra, inner vision, clear seeing. This is what source is boosting and working at with you. Showing you the sun in every situation, okay? 
Yeah, we got Thoth light codes, okay? <laughs> it says light initiation, great teacher awakening, divine magic. So it's like you have always, because I wrote magical powers derived from God himself, okay? You have always possessed this. I said, what did I say with the, the other the thing earlier? I said, from birth, you have been blessed with this wisdom that God gave you on your birthday. That's what I said. Okay. Look, memories of Atlantis. Okay. And I was talking about working with the violet flame. Okay. This violet flame says <laughs> karmic release transformation. You're not going to believe what it say under the, under these two. Okay. <laughs> it says karmic release, radical transformation. Okay. This is um, the energy source is, is wanting you to do work with the violet flame, clear out these, these old karmic situations and feelings that you're harboring. Okay. So that you can remember who you are and receive this spiritual acceleration that he wants to give you, okay? So you can reconnect with the heart of source, okay? Beautiful. It says all encompassing love, unconditional acceptance and serenity. And then we got star being healing codes. Important information, wounds are healed and recharging, okay? So this is what source is helping you to do. To shine like this on this earth in that angelic energy that you are. He want to give you evolutionary downloads, but he needs you to recall your power and and upgrade upgrade your mind with Archangel Uriel to forward future thinking, bringing an your ancient wisdom that you were blessed with on your birthday into this beautiful future that you're walking into or that you already like reside in. OK, so what's the final thought on this? You should go. Um, actually, I need to look up the number one first. But what's the what's the final thought? Whoa, Alcyon. See, Alcyon, which is giving me look. It's giving it's giving heart of source energy. <laughs> okay, um, but um, it says forgiveness. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, it says crystalline grids. Okay, so. Definitely forgiveness is a very important energy and, and forgiveness is, is an energy of wisdom. Okay. It comes from one who is wise. And also it comes from this connectivity that you realize you have with everyone and everything connecting with the crystalline grids is a very powerful meditation. Okay. And it connects you, um, to the source within you in a different type of way and also laughing and enjoying life. Okay. This is what brings in this very strong remembrance and this passion, that God has installed within you, okay, to help you make these quantum heart leaps, okay? He's talking about coming into sacred union with him in order to be, I mean, to be more connected to your star family in general, bringing in the, the light technology that he offers, okay? Look at the mothership, okay? More of this um, heart of source energy, keeping your eyes on him and what he wants you to do, which way he needs you to walk in order for y'all to co-create what you are meant to bring into this world. Oh, sleep just that job. I miss you. Miss what you at. You can't get no sleep at night. Do you ever wonder why everyone is out to get you every day? And do you question anything? How many warning signs till it hits you, darling? Gravity's your friend. You fall out of touch. You you fall out of touch sometime, but your history calls you back to it again. Too many factors to be sure. So many reasons to be to think twice that nobody asked you to before, but do you ever wonder why I, 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 and it just gives me this energy, you know, like, like how many times is God going to show you something or giving you these warnings? How many times? Okay. He changed it. Okay. How many times has he given you these warning signs? It brings me back to that, that story, you know, that story about the guy who's stuck in the storm and, you know, um, he's like, Oh God, please help me. Please come and and, and give me what I need. Please come save me. And a man comes by, you know, it's a flood or whatever. And man comes by on a boat and he's like, oh, no, I'm waiting for God. Some dude comes with a helicopter and it's like, oh, no, I'm waiting for God. You know, this is just a loose, a loose interpretation of the story because I don't think I'm saying it right. But, you know, he sends these different people in to help that man. And then the man dies and goes to heaven. And he's like, God, you know, I prayed to you. I was like, why? I was like, come help me. But you never showed up. He like, I sent you a boat and a plane and, a, and you know, I sent you everything that you needed in order to help yourself. But you turned those things down because you was waiting on a sign that looked the way you thought it should look. 
The song said, you about to make this car crash, okay? So you got to keep your eyes on the prize and follow the signs the way you know they're, that like you need trust in yourself and in the fact that God is always with you. You don't have to wait for him to show up. So it says, um, the brightest star in our Pleiades constellation, all attuned to the heart that is Al Sion, okay? Or the heart of source. It says the grand central sun of our galaxy is all actually made up of multiple stars whose rays of light all directly pass through her gateway towards Earth. As a relative to Master Ra of your solar system, Alcyon is too a cosmic emitter of universal living library of creation templates. When one attunes to any central sun, or in this case, the great light of Alcyon, or in this case, the great light of God, okay, they gain an innate ability to receive creation templates, which weave one's conscious field into the same intelligence as source. A creation template is a packet of information that provides blueprints and constructs of reality. The card Alcyon arrives when a time of ripe possibility and co-creation is upon you. All paths you walk upon soon turn to gold with your crystal clear intentions that alchemize any lower distractions. This card signals that the universe is saying go and giving you a green light to accomplish all your dreams and visions. Now is the time where one's life choices can empower their life dramatically. Pay attention to any fears that attempt to sway you in, in other directions and know that you reside in an attraction-based universe where your motives are duplicated in energy received. Therefore, seek what brings you the greatest joy and fulfillment knowing that it too will be the byproduct of your entire endeavor open to the light of the glorious source <laughs> light and entire no and merge with your crystal clear vision you are this source you are this light the creation templates seek you so it says, go for it, abundance, prosperity, choice, follow your bliss, new path, new opportunities, travel, you know, God's saying, go, go crazy, do whatever you want to do. As long as you are, you know, obeying, not hurting others, not trying to tear other people down. Fine. Be of service, heal and keep your mind open. And just be on the lookout for me communicating with you in, in, in all these different, wonderful and amazing ways. Expect miracles, expect serendipity, expect amazing things to happen. OK, I love I love on the um, Incredibles, you know, the little boy sitting out there, you know, and, and, and the dude's like, what are you waiting for? And the little boy's like, I'm waiting for something amazing to happen. OK, this is how you need to be when it comes to God. I'm waiting for this amazing shit to happen because I know I know that that whatever God said to me is happening. It says change it up, change. It said change it up. OK, that's all I got. Keep the masks on speaking just a couple of times. I push the tank, blinking lights, lighting up the dash, pull over, mind going blank, feeling a thousand days older almost every day. Oh, God. OK. Also, um, just avoid feeling like, you know, you're getting old or you can't accomplish things or like just just kill all of that. Completely expand all of your possibilities and and expectations of what you're going to do in this life no matter how much time you think you have left in this life to live okay so he told me to look up the number one okay and then i'll be done so it says one one people okay the number one, it says positive personality trait. These people are very creative, career oriented, powerful, self-dependent, innovative, hardworking, strong, and always, I think it was, it's getting at like always have, it said always have uh, and it stopped, but spirit always kind of fills in the blank. Okay. So I feel like you always have like a positive thing to say, you know, you always have, um, a, a innovative and creative way to get your things 
to, to transform or to adapt to situations, you know? It says people born with one as their lucky number have creative thinking. They, they are also very responsible and loving towards others, okay? It says fiercely independent, competitive, determined, value their freedom, are original, and have leadership qualities and are self-reliant. It says um, one is a number of confidence, power, and action. It pushes us to look at our current circumstances and realize that we have the power to turn them into anything, okay? It says... Um, it says those with life path one are strong leaders who are able to think outside the box, courage, creativity, intelligence, positivity, but they can be selfish, stubborn, and egotistical. It says self doubt is life path. Self doubt is life path one's Achilles heel. Okay. So your Achilles heel at this time would be your self doubt. Have the same faith in yourself that you have in God. It says those who walk a life path, with number one, have an inner zeal that pushes them constantly to climb towards. Hold up, let me click it. It says. Uh, those who walk a life path, one have an inner zeal that pushes them to constantly climb towards goals. Others, others think unreachable one gives birth to all other numbers. Its energy is that of the master creator. Ooh. Your energy is that of the master creator, baby. Shawty, I be over there. I be hitting all the spots that you ain't even know was there, okay? <laughs> and you don't even have to ask twice. You can have my heart or we can share it like the last slice. Okay? Have a nigga thinking that he met you in a past life. You know God very well. You are very connected to him. Okay? And he got you. He hidden all the spots you ain't even know needed to be hit. It says healing yourself is the greatest comeback, okay? It says there are two places you need to go often. The place that heals you and the place that inspires you, okay? And with that, I am done, okay? I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. That you got something that you needed out of this and that you have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day.